They just said they're going to take him for everything he's got. Will you speak Russian? Semester in Kiev, between junior and senior year. Sometimes when I am bored, I go to Glechi Cafe in Little Odessa and pretend to be Muscovite. Now that's kind of hot. You know the irony here? Her death is my moment of greatest crisis, and I don't have her to lean on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and by the way, it's a common mistake, but it's not ironic that Dr. Causeway is not here for you to lean on. It's just simply tragic. Be ironic if her death made you feel better. Castle? Just you can... Castle, check this out. Look at naked pictures, if you insist. Dad! We need to talk. Sweetie. Sit. Dylan called. Did you call Juilliard and check on him? Maybe. I can't believe you. After I told you how much taking lessons from him means to me. Sweetie. No, no, quiet. Am I a troublemaker, Dad? Do I get drunk? Disobey authority? Steal police horses? That... Naked? No. That'd be you. I seem to be the only person in this family blessed with good judgment, and yet you don't trust me. I trust you. It's just, it's a dangerous world out there, and people lie. You don't think I know that? I'm in high school. It's like the wild, wild west with hormones, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job navigating it. You are, and I'm proud. Well, then why don't you trust me to pick the person who's going to inspire me as an artist? I love you, Daddy, but I'm not a little girl anymore. You can't protect me from everything. She's good. She took you apart like a pro. You saw that? Mm-hmm, through the glass. It was actually kind of difficult to watch. Even harder to experience. So do you need a minute or can we get back to work? I'll give you a minute. The irony is it never would have connected them. We don't go through a victim's mail unless there's probable cause and a warrant first. Thank you. For what? For using irony correctly. Ever since an Alanis Morissette song, people use it when they actually mean coincidence. It drives me nuts. Vampire Mistress Vixen. Her coven is called the Den of Iniquity. Coven? Yeah, Vampire Coven is like joining a church or a club. You like to play golf? I like to play golf. You like to drink blood? I like to drink blood. But I, I used to go out with a girl who was into the lifestyle. What happened? Did the relationship suck? Oh! <laughs> Deal breaker? She wanted to have sex in a coffin. I'm open-minded. I'm not that open-minded. Hey. If you killed someone, you would tell me, right? Of course. I need help hiding the body. <laughs> That's my girl. But we still have the original murder from 10 years ago. Everything started there. Two fresh bodies, and you want to look at a murder 10 years cold. Uh, when I'm writing a story, the beginning is always the hardest. But if you nail that, the rest of it could just fall into place. Castle, this is not one of your books. No, but it is a mystery. And all mysteries are the same. Motive, opportunity, cover-up, conscience. These murders today were to cover up one ten years ago. That's where your leads are going to be. Come on, Captain, what are you saying? Let's take a little trip down memory lane. You guys mind if I take these things off? I'm starting to feel like a stereotype riding around in the back of a police car wearing them. Sure, do you want my key? Nah, uh, you got it. Thanks. How did you do that? <laughs> I've always been good with locks. When I was in the joint, I was thinking, how can I take this and make it more productive, you know? So I've been applying to locksmith schools. But, you know, they won't let me in on account that I'm a felon. Can you believe that? <laughs> Felon who wants to be a locksmith. What could possibly go wrong there? You don't have to be mean about it. Yeah, wow. Fiance? Mm -hmm. Wife? Mm -hmm. On one knee? That's a good girl. What's up, Castle? You proposing? Oh, no. Just waiting for you. It's too bad. You two make a cute couple. Yeah. Hey, you think I should get a dog? What am I, your wife? Yeah, you're my work wife. No, I'm not your work wife. I could get a bloodhound. I could name him Sherlock, and then I could I could bring him to crime scenes. No, you couldn't. Oh, what? It'd be adorable. I could get him to wear a little Sherlock hat, train him how to carry a little magnifying glass. Oh, see? Right there. 
Disapproving, judgmental, you're totally my work wife. Uh, I'll take care of it for you. Hello, Sheila. No Richard, figures you'd be at the heart of this mess. Detective Beckett, this is Sheila Blaine, mother of the bride. So, I guess I didn't end up homeless or teaching at a third-rate college in New Hampshire after all. There's still time. I've missed our special talks. Sheila didn't approve of struggling artists. You must like Greg, though. He's from money, right? It was never about the money, Richard. It was about character. And you would know that if you had any. Wow. Just imagine if things had worked out, you'd be spending Thanksgivings with her. Back it. Note the rectangular bruising around these wounds mm -hmm. here and here, mm -hmm. caused by the hilt of the knife, striking with force enough to compress the skin. And as a result, the injuries penetrate deeper than the actual length of the blade. He's also honed the blade so fine, it's brittle enough for bits to break when it strikes bone, which is why slivers of blade were found inside both of his victims. We now know those slivers come from the same murder weapon. Wait, two victims? How many people has he killed? Five that we know of. So we're looking at a serial. Well, yes and no. We believe we're dealing with a professional. Someone with extensive military training. A contract killer. I used tomographic reconstruction of Kunin's wounds to generate a 3D model of the blade used. It's a special operations group knife. The kind favored by special forces in Gulf War I. He kills with a single blow. Using these other wounds to camouflage the skill with which the initial stroke was delivered. The very same method and the very same weapon that the killer employed 10 years ago. Laney, I'm so sorry. Detective Beckett, there is no doubt in my mind that Jack Coonan was killed by the same man who murdered your mother. Sorry, Miss Dinner. Here's quiche if you're hungry. Sweet, or savory, actually. So, how was your day? I had a truly great day. I got pulled out of class and called to the vice principal's office. Why? What does she want? You. Here's her number. Her number? Oh, and my German teacher, Fräulein Sonnenberg, wanted me to tell you Auf Deutsch to Hobbs sex appeal. She's two years from ordering off the senior menu, but here's her number, too. Well, that's so number. Too old? That's okay, because my friend Sloan thinks you're real choice. She's 17, but she'll be legal in three months. Hey, maybe we could double. Oh, you hate me a little bit right now, don't you? Just a little. What I could say? Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine with it. Maybe even a little flattered. Flattered. I'm just gonna eat that. Did you just use the word veritable? Yes, I did. Sexy. You should hear me say fallacious. Psychology doesn't make any sense. The crime scene was pretty elaborately staged, which seems to suggest a significant amount of premeditation, but the murder itself, suffocation, might indicate a crime of passion. Guy covered her in caramel. Do you really think we're gonna find a logical explanation? Only a handful of bondage shops in the city do custom work, so let's take photos of those cuffs, send it out, see if anyone can ID where it came from. Only a handful of shops? Okay, what aren't you telling me? So much, Castle. So very, very much. Oh, no, I'm not leaving. I'm here to protect you. What, with your vast arsenal of rapier wit? Castle, what part of unass don't you understand? All of it. For future reference, it means get the hell out and don't take anything. On ass. Nice. Probably ass. Is he always like this? Castle has the attention span of a cocker spaniel. Oh, and the loyalty. The way he follows you around. From what I've observed, this unorthodox partnership works well for you. For now. You had to mess with the curse, didn't you? Trying to be funny. You know what kind of hell I'd catch if Castle got eaten in line of duty? Don't tell me you really believe in that stuff, sir. You know what I believe in, Detective? That there's no upside in screwing with things that you can't explain. First year homicide, right? My partner tackles a suspect through the window of a gypsy smoke shop. 
owner's furious, threatens all kind of hexes on our houses if we, if we don't personally go and clean it up. And we tell her, yeah, take it up with the city. Two hours later, my partner drops dead. Heart attack. And you think it was the hexes? No, man ate bacon with every meal. But next morning, went over there, fixed that window. And you know why? Because, because there's no upside in screwing with things you can't explain. And don't you ever forget it. Okay. We should have a signature line. She's armed. He's dangerous. No. No. How about a whole new chapter in crime solving? Oh. Chapter. Get it? No. So, what's with the handsome robbery detective? Deming? Well, we're just working the case together, that's all. Mm-hmm. But then again, you have been working with Castle for a year, and not a damn thing has happened, so... We had a pool going. I lost a lot of money on you two. What broke? Stupid glass. Remind me to get smarter glasses. You got a shaving cream that is ridiculous. I'm good with the drugstore stuff, man. No, 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 hang on. This stuff will change your life. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. How do they do that? Magic of modern chemistry. It's like getting a shave from a barber. Matter of fact, that's the tagline. Barber in a can. Huh. That's probably expensive, huh? It's 50 bucks a pop, but it's so worth it. Absolutely. Totally. Yeah. Guys. A man has been murdered here. And we're honoring his legacy. Huh. This is like sex in the city, only with boys. Right. You were at home in bed. Oh, I wasn't at home, but I was in bed. With his wife. I'm sorry, what? I was in bed with Roger's wife. Let me, let me get this straight. You, your alibi for killing your friend is you were doing his, his wife. 